The Imphal Polo Ground, Mapal Kangjebung, which lies in the heart of Imphal City, is the oldest polo ground in the world. Manipur is the birthplace of the modern game of polo. The beginning of polo and its origin can be traced back to the state of Manipur, where the game is known as Sagol Kangje. Though it was formalized and popularized worldwide by the British in the late 19th and early 20th century. Sagol means pony, horse, Kang means ball or round object and Jai means stick, used for hitting. The sticks are made of lee, means cane, and the balls from waru, seasoned bamboo root. The indigenous form of polo, which is known as pana, is a 7A side game where the players are mounted on the Manipuri ponies. Players strike the ball with the sticks and are permitted to carry the ball, though doing so allows opponents to physically tackle them. There are no goal posts and the players score simply by hitting the ball out of either end of the field. from the Manipur Legislative Assembly, Sri Y. Kimchan Singh, as well as Mr. Speaker, and our guests of honor, the Honorable MLA, Sri Sharad Chandra. Yeah, we only have one copy. But you can put this away for now. We don't need this right now. <laughs> yeah. I must say, I think Manipur is probably one of the few countries in the world sorry, one of the few regions in the world where the sport has retained all of its traditions, including traditional attire. And it is really quite a remarkable sight. For those of you tuning in, this really is a wonderful place. And I do encourage all of you, if you get the chance to come out to Manipur, to come and witness this wonderful place where polo is still played as it was over 150 years ago before it became an international sport that it is today. We are so that is bringing live the entire proceedings of the final match of the 12th Manipur Polo International throughout the length and breadth of the country. In fact, uh, the entire program will be visible throughout the world by live streaming. We live streamed across the world on DDK, Imphal, DD Sports in Delhi and Rajan Bharati Sports globally. A video will also be made available after the end of the tournament for those of you that have been unable to tune in and watch today's games. Jai Parabunumit, Sago Sen, Nasina Vemakitari from the Mapan, Chakhariba, Aramani, Sushiba, Manipur, Polo, International, Yelushan, Lukinumit, Lengmir Kriba, Pai Punamaku, Sindalangi River, Manipur, Post, Riding and Polo Association, Gi, Makaidi, Norocheri, Mani, Karam, Norocheri, Mikuk Kalimanunga, Dr. Nasma Hakula, the Honorable Governor of Manipur, Apal Kamjibu, the Europe Academy. And we are very happy that we Y. Kem Chan Singh, the Honourable Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly, is already amidst us with Sri P. Sharachandra, the Honourable MLA, as the guest of honour. We are also happy to receive Madam Speaker.
Nepal Kangjiwi. Nepal Kangjiwi. We are now live. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 12th Manipur Polo International at Imphal Polo Ground, Nepal Kangjiwi. As you can see, the crowds have begin have begun to fill the grandstand. And we await the arrival of our chief guest, Dr. Najma Heptala, the Honorable Governor of Manipur, our President Sri Y. Kamchan Singh, the Honorable Speaker, as well as Mrs. Speaker Sri Mata N. Joybala are here with us today. And we also have our guest of honor, Sri P. Sharachandra, the Honorable MLA. The events of today will be kicking off with a reception, with the blowing of the Conch Moibung with a Rashtriya salute as well as the presentation of Kokyat and Kajengai. After this, we'll be releasing our souvenirs by the Honorable Governor of Manipur, and the players will be introduced by our Chief Guest President, Guest of Honor, and other VIPs. At 1.30, we'll be beginning the final match, played this year between England and India B. The first time in the history of the tournament that England have reached the finals of the Manipur Polo International, in which the Manipuri team have traditionally dominated. Previous installments of this tournament have seen teams from Argentina, Australia, South Africa, USA, Italy, Kenya, and Germany participate, among many others. In the 12th Manipur Polo International, five teams from across the world have competed. Uruguay, USA, UK, and two India teams. Haiti sadly were unable to attend this year, but we hope they will return next year. It's looking to be a very close and competitive game, isn't it, Mr. Chowby? Yeah, I guess uh, England is here for the first time in the final. We were very happy that we were given the, the course uh, by the organizing committee. The tournament that began in 1990, the final match was played between Manipur and Germany. In fact, in 1992, we had a ladies' team, and that was in the final. We are now expecting the arrival of our chief guest, Dr. Najma Heptula. Namaskar, Apka Swagato. Good afternoon, Dr. Najma Heptula. It's a pleasure to have you here with us today, representing the government of Manipur. You're most welcome at the oldest polo ground in the world, Mapal Kajaybug. Dr. Nazma Haptula, the Honorable Governor of Manipur, being welcomed by the members of the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association and the young girls who have worked hard for the last few months to make this program a great success. Yeah. Dr. Najma Haptula, from our audience across the globe, welcome to Imphal Polo Ground for the 12th Manipur Polo International. It is a real honor and pleasure to have you here with us today to open today's proceedings at the birthplace of modern polo. And I would like everyone to kindly rise. I would like to request everyone to kindly rise as the national anthem is being played.
Jai Hind and long live India. Welcome ladies and gentlemen and thank you very much. Please do take your seats as we begin the proceedings of today. May I now request Kumari Mandakini to kindly lead our young ladies to do the honor of presenting the rosé to our chief guest, the president of today's function, the guest of honor, and dignitaries who have come to grace the closing ceremony of the 12th Manipur Polo International. Manipur Horse Riding Amasung Polo Association na ngasi tarani thoi suba Manipur Polo International 2018 loisan ba ginumit amasung final match sanagad ba sida lengbirak liba mapam kaya dagi sagol bunungsi biba sagol kangji bunungsi biba bu Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association na taram na okjeri ay koi gimitung len loi biriba Manipur ke governor ikai khumna jari bi nazma hap tuna leng bi rakhre loina na ngasi gi atai maru oiba mithung singsu lengsen biduna laire haujik ai khoi gi athen pot ki kangbu na ai khoi gi ngasi gi leng le iba mithung len singbu taram na okchabagi nat ki oiba chana bi gi matung inna Haujik, ningthi khraba Manipur ki adu gumba saktam saklon amusung naat ki horokfam oiriba kaya ki pijet laiteng na laiteng laba adu gumba athen potasi aikhoi ki naak ta sangsa laki. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the way Manipuris have welcomed our guests right from the kings down to everybody, even the most common man. When Manipur welcomes our guests, we welcome them as kings. This ceremony called the Athen Pot Ceremony consists of the produce of the land, vegetables, fruits, snakes, and whatnot. The best of the land that could be offered in our ancient times to our guests. The governor of Manipur shall touch this gift from the people to accept the honor that we all give to our chief guest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Manipur is a very traditional and conservative society in spite of the changes that we have seen in dress, in values, we still keep the core of ourselves with us. And you see aspects of the cores of Manipuri culture in this small ceremonial parade that you see before you. Asumna. Malim gi leba ki mafam kaya de gi thunglaraba continent suna thunglaraba ai khoi gi polo bu yeng bi ba lak pa dana tana Manipur gi phogal lak liba adugumba sangai festival gi 
guests kaya Bharat ki tongan tongan ba mafam dagi khanong pok Asia dagi Europe dagi adeko polo gi guests oi biriba North America South America madugi ai khoi gi athiti sing boi khoi na taram na okchev hiwa loina na ngahak ki manung da ai khoi gi final gi ceremony si haujaragani final match haujaragani yengbiu ngasi Manipur gi sagol kangjai roi singa England Manipur dagi malem sin bathung na pu gi ba adugumba laibak England ngasi karam na tobuno khangde ngasi bhaug de England final changdribani adubu ngasi di Manipur sagol kangjai gi haurak pham oiriba ai khoi gi lamdam amasung sagol kangjai bi Manipur dagi amasung kasar dagi Malam sinbat thung na pukri ba England high ribat team asigi iti hasik oira ba high resi aduk ma final ni ngasi miam na ubi gadori besi. May I now request Sri Hawai Bam Dilip Singh, the honorary president of the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, to kindly. Give the welcome address. As a proceeding, before the welcome, I would like to request Kumari L. Kulkarni Devi, the executive member of MH Part PA, to kindly present the Kazengli to our Honorable Governor, Dr. Nazma Haptula. May I now request Dr. K. S. H. Charjit Singh, the President of the Manipuri Pony Society, to kindly present the cockpit to Sri Y. Kemchan Singh, the Honorable Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly. Are you called? Sorry. May I request Kumari S. Mandakini to kindly present the cousin lay to Mrs. Speaker, the Madam Speaker. Okay, okay. May I request Sri S. Buddhachandra Singh, advisor MHRPA, to kindly present the cogit. To Sri P. Sarachandra, Honorable Emily. What beautiful traditions kept alive in this truly incredible place. It's remarkable to see things being done in the same way as they would have been done by our ancestors over 150 years ago. We would now like to invite H. Dilip Singh, IAS, the Honorable President of the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, to give the welcome address. Governor of Manipur as the chief guest of the closing ceremony of the 12th Manipur Polo International Tournament 2018 today at this historic Makal Kangri Boom, also popularly known as the Polo Ground. We extend a warm welcome to Sri Y. Kim Chan Singh, Honorable Speaker of the Manipur Legislative Assembly, as well as Madam Speaker, who are present here in our midst 
to witness the final match of the tournament. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Sri T. Sarat Chandra, Honorable MLA, who has also kindly accepted our invitation to be present as a guest of honor of this closing function. I wish to extend our sincere gratitude to all the polo players and their families from England, USA and Uruguay for having traveled all the way to this remote corner of our nation to take part in this tournament. I welcome the players of the Indian Polo Team A, sponsored by the Indian Polo Association too. The IPA has been extending their support and encouragement in the context of the Manipur Polo International over the years. I welcome all the polo lovers, ladies and gentlemen, who are present here at the stand to witness the final match of this season's International Polo Tournament with great enthusiasm and anticipation. May I also welcome the members of the print and electronic we have given wide coverage of the matches ever since the opening of the tournament on the 22nd November. With your wide coverage has enhanced the interest and awareness of polo in Manipur and outside. Polo is recognized to be one of the first team sports. In Manipuri mythology, the first game of Sagol Sanje, the original version of polo, was played between Thangjin Panna or team and Marjin Panna in 33 AD. The British learned the game from Manipur, refined it by framing rules from the 1960s onwards and spread it from the tea gardens of India to England and further to America. Now, polo is an important team sport played in all the continents and in many countries. The revival of polo more recently through persistent efforts of the MHRPA and the concept of the Manipur International Polo Tournament at the Mapal Kangribu, the first living polo ground in the world over the years, though modest in its resources and arrangements, is nonetheless significant since Manipur is gradually beginning to establish its footprint in the polo and cultural map of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to enjoy this final match between England and India B, Manipur, in a short while from now. Welcome to you all once again. Thank you. We would now like to ask the Honorable Governor of Manipur, Dr. Nadva Hatsula, to release the souvenir. Which marks the official start of the tournament. The souvenir is a book outlining the history of the tournament as well as the activities that have gone on this week for the 12th Manipur Polo International. It serves as a record for years to keep of this wonderful tournament. As you can see being held up by our honorable guests. Thank you very much. If our players and umpires could please take their positions on the pitch for their introductions. And we'd ask all other people to please move from the sidelines to clear the pitch. Thank you. The lineup for today's match, the final match being played between England in white and India B in light blue. Playing today in the finals of the 12th Manipur Polo International 2018. 
the host India team, which has traditionally dominated the tournament. Playing in at one, we have Kalba Singh. Playing in at two, we have Pradeep Kumar Singh. Playing in at three, we have Bimal Singh. Playing in at four, Ojit Singh. Playing in at five, Jacob Singh. And playing in at six, Lashimba Takilambam. On the England side, the first year that England has reached the finals of the 12th Manipur Polo International. Playing in at one, we have George Shelton. Playing in at two, Henry Amor. Playing in at three, George Amor. And playing in at four, we have Ben Ely. The players are just greeting each other and wishing the other teams the best of luck in true sportsmanship. And our mountain umpire today will be Rafael Seco from Uruguay and Connor Deal from the United States of America. Our scorekeeper, El Benamani Singh, and our timekeeper, Shri Umananda Sharma. And in the commentator's box, we have Mr. Ibungo Chalbi and myself, Mr. Isidasu Patel. If our players could please line up. Thank you very much. Just to repeat the players. In at one for India, playing in blue. We have Kaoba Singh. In at two, Pradeep Kumar Singh. At three, Bimal Singh. At four, Ojit Singh. At five, Jacob Singh. And at six, Lashemba Takilamba. For the England side, playing in at one, we have George Shelton. Playing in at two, Henry Amor. Playing in at three, George Amor and playing in at four, Ben Ely. Our umpires of today, Rafael Seco from Uruguay and Connor Deal from the USA. Thank you, Chubi, for the introductions. Our Honourable Governor of Manipur and Chief Guest, Dr. Najma Haptullah, will be greeting the players and throwing in the ball to kick off the 12th Manipur Polo International 2018 Finals. The moment we've all been waiting for. The first in line, Mr. Ben Illy from England, Josh Emmer, and his younger brother, Henry Emmer, is in the British Army. The English captain, Joe Shelton. Mr. Raphael Seiko from the Uruguay has come a very long way. Connor Deal, the young player from the US, Mr. Raphael, and the corner will be umpiring the final match. This is Mr. Pradeep. The youngest player, Lexemba. Jacob. Ojit. Kauva. And the team captain, S. Bimol Singh. It is indeed a very great pleasure welcoming each and everyone watching this program via DDK. 
throughout the length and breadth of the country. Myself, Ibn Chaubi and my colleague Isa from London bringing you the proceedings of the final match of the 12 Manipur Polo International. Thank you very much for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. We will shortly be beginning our finals after a very quick photograph. We'd like to ask all photographers to please stand well clear of the sidelines once the game begins for their own safety. For those of you watching and tuning in from across the globe, welcome to Manipur, where the time is now 1.30 in the afternoon. And what is a very pleasant day in Manipur. Our Honorable Governor of Manipur, Dr. Najma Heptula and Chief Guest will be throwing in the ball to kick off today's finals. As I've mentioned to you already, this is the first time England are contesting the finals. With several years of experience on the Manipuri ponies, they have come back stronger than ever. Photographers, please do stand clear of the line. Our ball is now ready to be thrown in by Dr. Najma Habtullah. Then the game has begun, ladies and gentlemen, the finals of the 12th Manipur Polo International 2018. George Shelton there for England, but the, the ball is taken by Kalva Singh from India, picked up by Ojit Singh from India, going straight towards goal. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the first goal of today's game. In just seconds, the Manipuri team has shown us their skill and prowess on these remarkable polo ponies. Within just 15 seconds, that is a remarkable sight to witness. Bill, brilliant play by Kalva and o Jacob and Ojit Singh. The ball is now back th in the centre, thrown in, picked up there by Pradeep, Pradeep Singh. Henry Amor for England going in hard. D brilliant defensive play there by Henry Amor, determined not to let another goal go in. Ben Ely for England. We, it seems we have a whistle, ladies and gentlemen. There are many rules in the sport of polo, and a whistle is blown if a foul occurs. Seems the foul is awarded against England. Pradeep Singh will be taking the penalty for India. Pradeep Singh for India. What a brilliant hit up the pitch by Pradeep Singh. Straight up to Ojit Singh. Ojit Singh goes towards goal, but it seems the ball has gone wide. Play will resume with the England side taking in the ball. Ben Ely playing in at four for England. Sends the ball up to his, his colleagues. George Amor for England going up on the near side. A lovely backhand there by India's players. Kalva Singh for India picking up the ball there. But Ben Ely is in behind and George Amor. Brilliant defensive play there by George Amor, picked up by Ben Ely. Ben Ely sends it, sends it back, and it's picked up there by Ely. What brilliant! What a great goal there, ladies and gentlemen. Kalba Singh for India, remarkable goal there. Just picking up that backhand beautifully. Kalba Singh, he's on fire today, ladies and gentlemen. Ball is thrown in again. George Amor going for the backhand there. Henry Amor now on the ball. Picked up by Bimal Singh for India, who taps it round, sends it up. But George, George Amor is there with a beautiful backhand. But it sees Pradeep Singh from India is the first one to receive that backhand, who taps it round and keeps control of that ball. 
Friday was saying, showing us what can be done on these remarkable polo ponies. Fully in control of that play. Ojit Singh for India on the near side. Picked up by George Amor, who sends it back to Ben Ely. Who struggles to get a hold of it. Pradeep Singh picking up for India. George Shelton on the near side for England. He's looking for some space. Checking behind him. He lets George Amor pick the Henry Amor pick the ball up for England. George Amor and Pradeep Singh coming in. George Shelton with a beautiful pitch up the it's picked up, it seems the number four for India Cutter. Pradeep Singh will be the first one on that ball. Stops it short. Taps it around beautifully. We've seen a lot of the Manipuri players doing this, controlling the play. They know exactly how to handle these polo ponies. Sending the ball out over the sidelines. It's a very common Manipuri tactic. For those of you tuning in from across the globe, polo is played here very differently to across the world. The skill and expertise with which the Manipuri players play is, is really a remarkable sight to watch. Picking it up for England there. We have number two, Henry Amor. It seems we have a whistle. Umpires are just going to clarify if they agree on the decisions. Black and white, George. I'll change this to three. Change this to three. No, 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 George. He's for you. As a reminder, this is live on DDK and the rest of the channels. Ben Ely for England taking the penalty and that's a goal! Ladies and gentlemen, the first goal for England in the finals of the 12th Manipur Polo International. The score now stands at 2-1 to Manipur. It's anyone's game at this point. Both sides showing us remarkable plays. Players are now just going to come back to the centre for the ball to be thrown in. Ball is thrown in, picked up by George Shelton. George Shelton still behind him, picked up by India's Pradeep Singh. George Amor for England. We have a whistle for crossing the line. Danny will be taking the spot for England. Danny Lee for England. Taking it up the pitch slowly. He's looking to keep possession of that ball for a little bit longer. Sends the ball up. Henry picked up by Kamala Singh for India, who just goes over the top of it. Number two for India, Pradeep Kumar Singh with the near side neck shot. Carrying in the play on the near side. What a beautiful near side there by Bimol Singh. Or now Ojit Singh for India, picking up the ball, storming up the pitch. George Amor, Henry Amor coming in from behind. Lovely backhand there by Henry Amor. George Shelton for England. Kamala Singh. Hen George Amor picking it up for England, taking it up the pitch, but it comes off an Indian player's mallet. Ben Ely for Eng England picking it up from behind, sending it up to George Amor. Pradeep Singh for India sends it back. What a beautiful tail back shot there! But it goes over the sidelines. Ball will be thrown in again. Boris in play. Ben Ely with a backhand there on the near side. Picked up by George Amor. And George Shelton in from behind. That's 30 seconds remaining of this chucker. What a beautiful hit up the pitch by Henry Amor. Ball is still in play. 
India there clearing the ball out to the sidelines and that concludes the chucker. Ladies and gentlemen, what a remarkable first chucker with three goals scored, two for India, one for England with our first goal scored in the first 15 seconds of this game. Really quite remarkable. The Manipuri team showing us exactly what they're made of and their skills on these Manipuri ponies. But the England team with strong defense and very strong attack tapping that goal in towards the end of this chucker. Players will now swap their ponies for the second chucker of the finals of the 12th Manipur Polo International. It's still a very close game and it's anyone's guess as to who could be taking home the trophy today. We'll take a very short break for this chuck between this chucker and the second and play will resume very quickly. It is possible that we may have a change in the lineup of the India players who have a squad of six. The England players who are here with only four will be playing on again for the second chucker. In the grandstands we have our chief guest, the Honourable Governor of Manipur, Dr. Najma Hatula as well as the President, Sri Y. Kajun Singh, the Honourable Speaker of the Manipur Legislative Assembly, and the Honourable MLA Sri Shalab Chandra. In the spectators' grandstands, we have a very full crowd today, with many people, the locals of Manipur, watching from the road. On the left of the grandstands, we have the players from Uruguay and the United States of America, who have played in this tournament this year. Sadly, Uruguay and the USA did, were not able to reach the finals, but have played very well throughout this week. We've seen some very strong teams this year playing in this tournament in what is now the 12th and We are now ready for our second chucker. The crowd is in anticipation the second chucker of this game. It's a very busy day here today in Manipur on what is a lovely and pleasant afternoon. The time now is 1.42 and we'll be preparing for the second chucker of this game. We also now have drone footage of this game. Technology here is really quite remarkable for a place that is so isolated for the rest of the world. It really is quite a beautiful place, is Manipur, where many traditions of the sport have been kept alive. Playing still, the Manipur ponies which stand below 13 hands. We also have a traditional game of Sagoi Kangje, which will be played after this game which has played seven aside. Really incredible to think 14 mounted players are able to play on this pitch. Players are just getting ready now for the second chucker of the 12th Manipur Polo International 2018 at Imphal Polo Ground, Mapal Kanjewo. Just making sure this is all okay. It's nothing to worry about, ladies and gentlemen. Every now and then we do have a pony that is not keen to play. In order to ensure ponies will be safe and players are safe, we will swap that pony out. Manipur, as the locals all know and are very proud of, is the birthplace of modern polo. Late in the 1800s, British Army, which was stationed here in Manipur, discovered the locals and kings playing what was known as Sagor Kangjay. 
which is quite somewhat different to the modern sport of polo. The Brits, having discovered the sport, took the sport internationally, where it is now played on pretty much most continents of the world. And is, although quite a small sport, is quite, quite well known. It's remarkable to think that a small community in Manipur gave the world the game of polo, where it's still played today on the original Manipuri ponies. We are here today at the Imphal Polo Ground, also known as the Mapal Kanje, in the heart of the city of Imphal, which is the oldest active polo ground in the world. Players from across the globe competed in this tournament over the years. And this year we have had five teams participating, and the finals of the 12th Manipur Polo International 2018, we have England and Manipur India B. Seems all players in the are okay, so we will now be ready to start the second chapter of the 12th Manipur Polo International. Very glad to see that everyone's okay. Polo is a sport that puts safety and welfare of its players and its ponies well above everything else. Playing in, in, playing in for England, England. we have George, George Shelton, Shelton, the brothers Henry, George Amor, and Ben Ely. And playing for India, we have a squad of six. We have Bibal Singh, Pradeep Kumar Singh, Ojit Singh, Kaur Singh, Jacob Singh, and Shrimbad Lambad. Ball is in play now, going towards the England goal. Defended there by India. It just goes over the top of it. Sees a few players in the lovely, picked up on the near side by the Indian players. George Shelton there with a lovely hook, but it's sent up the pitch by the Indian players. Ben Ely there seems to be the first one, that ball looking behind him. He knows he has plenty of time there. Just goes over the top of it. And India there, not wasting that opportunity, but it seems it's gone wide, ladies and gentlemen. That was a great opportunity there, but it just went wide. Ben Ely for England picking it up there. Ben Ely for England sending it up to his players. George Shelton there. And George Amor, beautiful hit up there by George Amor for four in India. Kaoba Singh. Apologies, Pradeep Singh picking it up for India. Sends the ball up. Ben Ely, he's looking behind him. Ojit Singh for India, picking the ball up again. Lovely hit up there by Ojit Singh, but Ben Ely there just goes over to Ojit Singh. It's still Ojit Singh, Ojit Singh and Ben Ely. It's not the first time they face each other. Ben, Ben Ely, Ben Ely for England. Looking to keep control of that ball. Sends the ball, a beautiful hit up there. What a shot. George, George Shelton going up there, but he's. It seems the ball's gone out there. The horses were able to get, get to the ball in time. Seems that OG Singh has some incredible horsepower here. Even he struggled to get to the ball in time. So the remarkable hit up the pitch by Ben Ely. Ball is going to be thrown in again. George Shelton. Players are looking for the ball, trying to get a mallet on it. Ojit Singh seems to have said the ball has gone out again. It's much harder than it looks, ladies and gentlemen, to get a hold on the ball every now and then, especially when there's so many players battling for it. Ball will be thrown in again. Sent through to the back, Ben Ely on the near side looking for a play. Picked up by Pradeep Singh, who sends his horse up the pitch with Ben Ely. Ben Ely's going up, he knows the ball's coming up, he's ready to take that ball away from Pradeep Singh. George Shelton going in for the hook. Happy mode Singh, good tapping it towards the goal. And that's a goal, what a beautiful goal by Bimod Singh, who taps the ball in despite the defensive efforts of the English players. 
The score now stands at 3-1. India extending their lead in the finals of the 12th Manipur Polo International. Ball is ready to be thrown in. Ends will be squat, as the case with Polo. George Amor for England, taking the ball up. Beautiful play there by George Amor. Henry Amor, his brother, following him as George Shelton with a lovely neck shot. Looks like he's going towards the goal, but it's picked up by India. Oh, and that's a goal. That's a goal, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful near side there by George Amor. Remarkable. George Amor, what a beautiful goal there. Supporting his player, George Shelton, very well there. Play is, ball is thrown in. George and Henry going for the ball there. Picked up by the Indian players, Ojit Singh and Pradeep Singh on the near side. Pradeep Singh, he's very good at controlling this ball. Here's Pradeep, he sends the ball up to Ojit. But George Shelton is there on the near side and George A. Henry Amor is riding him off very well. Pradeep Singh for India. Ball, he struggles to keep the ball in play and the ball is going out of the sidelines. Right, they'll be thrown in again. Rafael Seco throwing the ball in. Comes off Hen Henry Amor's stick. Henry Amor picked up by George Amor. But Pradeep Singh picks up the ball for India again. He won't let anything slip, will Pradeep Singh. And now we have Ojit. That's Ojit. Pradeep Singh sending the ball up, but it seems it's gone out. Ball thrown in again. George Shelton for England, sending the ball up. George Amor for England, picking it up beautifully. Koba sings with a lovely back, 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 backhand there. What? Oh, it seems the ball's going towards goal. Oh, we're getting very close, but it's gone wide. Brilliant defensive play there by England. who are determined not to let another goal through. The score is now 3-2. England are edging. Closer to the, to the Indian score. Ben Ely for England picking it up, sending the ball up to George Shelton. Looks like the ball might just go out and it has. What a beautiful shot there by Ben Ely. Sent the ball from the back line all the way to the center. The pitch is about 200 meters long. So that was quite a big hit there by Ben Ely. Ben Ely there is the first one on that ball, looking behind him to see who's going to be receiving this backhand. George Amor turning around for, to pick up that ball, but Bimod Singh in from India is the first one on that ball. These things will not let anything pass. Lovely backhand there by Henry Amor for England. But it seems that Kalva Singh is the first one on that ball, who taps it round. Ben Ely coming in there. Pradeep Singh with a lovely neck shot. Ojit Singh to pick it up for India. Sends it, sends it through. And has it gone in? No, it has not, ladies and gentlemen. The ball is still in play. Just stopped short of the goal mouth and picking it up for India now. We have Kalva Singh. Kalva Singh who is unmarked. Unlucky there, Kalva Singh just goes over the top of it. Pradeep Singh for India on the near side. Now Bimot Singh, lovely shot there by Bimot Singh. Up to Ojit Singh, 30 seconds left in this chucker. Lovely near side neck shot, straight to goal. What a goal, ladies and gentlemen. We have seen some brilliant goals in today's game. That was quite remarkable. Score now stands at 4-2. India have extended their lead by two goals. That was really probably one of the best goals of today's game. These Manipuri boys are incredible on the near side, sending the ball straight to goal with their near side neck shots. I don't think I've ever seen play quite like this. 
At half time, the score now stands at 4 2 to India B, Manipur. We have witnessed some remarkable polo today, ladies and gentlemen, from both sides, with the England team well averse in the Indian tactics now. But just struggling to outpower the Indian players. The second half should prove to be extremely close. For those of you tuning in from abroad, we now have the Manipuri band to lead a procession for some half-time entertainment. Just cooling off. And the other horses will be getting ready for the third chapter. Thank you very much to our wonderful umpires Rafael Seco and Connor Deal from Uruguay and the USA, respectively. They very kindly volunteered to umpire this game, as well as our scorekeepers and timekeepers, Medamani Singh and Umananda Sharma. What a glorious afternoon in Imphal at the Mapal Kangje, 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 my apologies, my pronunciation of Manipuri is somewhat weak. We are at the oldest active polo ground in the world. First place in modern polo. The crowds here is completely packed. And there are crowds even outside the stadium. Watching from the main road. Okay. Yeah, Raba. Thumbs up, Taro. Incredibly traditional. Yes, yes, please. I'll just. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. 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 On this side. Uh, with me is uh, Edward Armstrong from the United States of America. It is indeed a great pleasure welcoming you on behalf of the DDK that is bringing the entire proceedings of the tournament throughout the length and breadth of the country. Ed, welcome back to Manipur. And is there anything that you see in Manipur? And this is, I think, this is your fifth uh, visit to Manipur. Yes, this is the fifth time. And I always am amazed by the friendliness of the people and the way that they honor their culture. And the polo is just a, a, a benefit that makes it really fun. Uh, well, Ed, I think uh, the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association has been trying very hard to promote polo. And I think you have been playing a very, very important role uh, bringing the US team to Manipur. Where do you see the future of this uh, very tournament uh, and the effect of Manipuri ponies in Manipur? Well, I'm hoping we can continue to bring an American team so that we can continue to, to shed light on the plight of the Manipuri pony and help, to help them to thrive. So we'll keep trying to come and keep trying to shed light on that problem. Uh, again, uh, I'll come back to you, Ed, and with me is uh, Bonnie. I think you have traveled a very long distance from England to see the very final match and uh, I was so happy to see uh, parents of Joe's and uh, Henry to be here. I wish they were here to see the final. Uh, how do you feel uh, being here in Manipur? I'm, well, the parents are actually watching at home so that's okay and I'm delighted to be here. It's very sunny in England, it would be raining and it's our first year here, Henry and George's. So we're very excited to be part of the team. Uh, I was just told that uh, your, your, your family has a long tradition of relationship with the horses and uh, how long have you been associated with horses in England? In England my whole life um, and we're currently just breeding, looking to uh, breed sports horses. So developing the horses like you're doing here in Manipur. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy to see these horses going well. Uh, in fact, uh, when uh, the uh, US played against England, it was a very uh, important key uh, match for the tournament and I was told that this is the first time that England is in the final. How do you feel? I can't believe it. Um, George Shelton, you know, he deserves it. He's been here for many years. He's very popular and I'm so happy that the boys are in and we can't wait to see the, see the final. Well, I, I'll get back to you again, uh, Bonnie. Uh, Ed, uh, it was uh, three years ago, maybe four years ago, that I saw a very, very exciting match uh, that was uh, led by uh, Sheldon 
and uh, the U.S. Uh, took the trophy. And I'm sure that uh, the team uh, USA will continue to come and win the trophy uh, in the years to come. That's right. We're going to keep trying and we'll see how good of a team we can get because you have to have a very good team to beat India. And thank you, uh, Ed, and I'm sure that uh, the association with the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association with the uh, USPA and of course especially because of you, uh, it is a privilege to have you for Doodashan. Thank you very much, uh, Ed. Thank you. And uh, we hope the best for the England team. Yes, thank, you. thank you. Thank, thank you, Bonnie. Thank, thank, thank you, Bonnie. Jacob Singh, as well as the youngest Manipur player, Lashmanad, Hilambad, playing for England, George Charlton, the brothers Henry, George Abel, as well as Ben Ely. Umpires for these two chocolates will be Rafael Seco and Pedro Lara from Uruguay and the USA respectively. England will no doubt be looking to close that gap and come in even stronger in this second half. It's the first time you're going to reach the final of this tournament and you are going to come, come back stronger than ever. And really, it's quite remarkable to watch them play against the money for team today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now getting ready for the second half of the 12 Money Blue Polo International 2018. The teams are playing incredibly well together. Money Blue's team is just really quite remarkable to watch them play. The way they execute their shots and their tactics, really, I've, I've never seen anything like it before. They play in a completely different way to anywhere else that the sport has played. Their handling of the money for the polo ponies. I'm sure years of practice and training. And we have a full stadium here today. Incredibly busy. The crowd working from outside the stadium as well. Keegan Walsh from the United States of America will be taking over from me in the commentator's box and supporting Mr. Ubungu Chari. Welcome, Keegan. It's a pleasure to have you here in the commentator's box. Hello, everybody. Glad to be here. Looking forward to the second half of this game, going into chapter 3, England 2, India B4, so far both teams playing very well, England doing a good job of holding off the Manipur offense, and Manipur doing a good job of putting goals in, so let's see how this next chapter turns out. All the players coming back to center field, getting ready. Another beautiful day for Polo here in Manipur. Welcoming in the 12th Manipur Polo International 2018. And the ball's back in play. Who's going to get to it first? People sing. People sing in possession. Ben Ely, Ben Ely picking up the ball, looking to bring it back to the other side. John, George Shelton, George Shelton, nice shot of field. Calvin coming in to intercept on a nice paint pony. George Shelton still gets back to the ball. Hits a nice next shot. Calvin coming in to turn into the ball. Looking to keep it with him. George reaching out for the hook. The ball is left. George Shelton taking a swing. George Moore is going to come in and back. 
to Benny. Benny. POJ is there to defend. Benny Ely gets past him, and Pradeep is there to pick the ball up. He overrides that play. Still gets a nice shot, but it's rolling to the sideboards. And it's still in play. Beautiful shot of field. Henry Moore is there to set. Not quite the shot he wants, but he's got George Shelton there to back him up. The ball deflects off of Ojis Pony. Ojis on your side. Looking for Bimo. Bimo reaching out. But Benny is there to make a nice defensive play. Back to center field. Pradeep Singh, challenging George Shelton. And a nice shot. Looking for Bimo, but he finds Piojit. Let's see what's going to happen here. What a beautiful shot. Is he going to make it? It's not. And Henry Moore, watch out, everybody. The ball is coming into the stands. A beautiful defensive play. Very hard hit. Everybody keep your eye on the ball. Anything can happen. Rafael Seco to pull the ball back to play. Pretty challenges Benny Lee. Henry Moore gets a nice shot in there. Kalba, all alone, by himself. What's he going to do with it? And a nice easy tackle, converting another one on the board for Kalba, for Man of Big, Big round of applause, applause thank you. Put up the score at India B of 5, England 2. Back to center field. Ball back in play. It's under Benny Lee. Makes a nice near side play. Benny Lee again. Looking for Henry. But Calvin makes a nice defensive back shot. Ben getting there. Sends it back to Henry. Henry's challenge, but he wins the play. He's running the ball. Is he going to make it? What a beautiful run! And a beautiful goal by Henry and Moore. Big round of applause, everybody. Putting England at three, and you will be five. They're catching up. Players coming back to center field, but it seems we have Player with attack time. time. Tara, we took you from Manipur Polo International 2018. He's handling with Team Singh, Manipur. Blue with Pablo Gamble, Blue with Pablo Gamble. Manipur, you play Singh, we move on number three. Pradeep number four, POJ number two, and Calvin number one. England number one, Willie Pussy, and George Shelton, team captain number one, Henry number number two. George number number three, number three, Ben Ely, Siggy, Mountain, and Pysing, Raphael Seco. Dear Raphael, can you please acknowledge the crowd? Raphael, one of the most senior players from Uruguay. Thank you, Raphael, for being an umpire. And we have Pedro Lara from the United States of America. Hazi Kuzi, who will be able to build in the IP. Manga Amade England Aho India Di Mapam Kudu Lakta Yurundi Kudu Lakta Yurundi Kudu Lakta Masiki Sanabha Masiki Handu Match Di Didi Kena About 100 countries streaming live We are so grateful to the entire network of the Didi Kena for taking this The proceedings of the 12th Manipur Polo International 2018 Throughout the length and breadth of this country Kick and I suppose that was a really exciting match that you played against England. That was an exciting match. I think you had to win uh, England with the difference of three goals uh, to be in the final. Uh, yes, it was a very exciting match. I, I think three was um, three was the set number we were trying to win by. 
um, but it was very difficult. They're a very well-matched team, and they played pitch very well. All the horses performed phenomenally for both of us. Um, so, you know, we're um, you know we're rooting for both teams in the finals here, and we hope for the best. And so far, we've had a great game, and uh, hope that they keep it up. Calvo jumping, jumping back, back up, up on his beautiful paint, paint pony there. All, All the horses looking, looking very good today. today. Both, Both teams, teams look ready and coming, coming back, back to center, center for the bowling. And, and the ball's back into play. play. George, George Shelley reaching out. George, George in control. control. And Henry, uh, George Moore coming through. What, what a beautiful, beautiful shot, and he goes through it all. Very well done. Well beautiful ball by George Moore. Shooting, Shooting from way far out. Right Henry 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 Balls in play. Pretty deep with a beautiful shot at the It's looking a little far to the left. And it rolls out. To be a knock in for England. Ben Ely taking the knock in. The key can do it here last year, too. I was. Yes. And it was a really very exciting final match between Manipur and Argentina. It was a nail biting finish till the last chuck up. It was a very exciting, exciting match. match. Um, you know, we, we ran our luck and Argentina, Argentina made it in, in but I uh, had, had an amazing time as well as everybody else, else and I'm happy, happy to be back, back here again. again. I remember the team led by Joe Shelton winning the trophy in the year 2015. And I'm sure that uh, Joe Sheldon uh, will be, Jared Sheldon will be watching this uh, program live and being brought to you by DDK Streaming Live. People are saying with a huge shot at field. Looking for Calvin. He's not, not the first one to get there. there. P.O. is. P.O. is in control. Good into the goal. And a beautiful red shot going through. P.O. Very impressive young man there. Very close, close score so far. India B has six, England four. four. I'm just told that there will be a lucky draw after this very tournament. I, I request everyone to take the free ticket. I think there's a very, very uh, special prize uh, for the viewers who have been supporting the tournament. Pretty Singh in control. Pretty Singh looking for Cabo. Cabo on the pink pony looking to run its goal. Pretty gets back to it. OJ overrides, Bimo comes up to it, hits a nice shot at field, but it is just wide to the left. Ben Ely for England to bring the ball back into play. Taps it to the right. And the foul is curved. It's going to be a center hit from midfield. A simple infraction of crossing over the line. Drop of placing the ball at midfield. It's going to be Ben Ely to bring the ball back. Number four for England, Ben Ely. Very strong player in this tournament this year. Performing very well. With a huge shot up here. Ben is looking to put that one in. Get the first one and it's just wide to the left. That's going to signal the aim with the first pepper. 
Kiki and I think uh, I'll give you a brief history of this very tournament that we began in the year 1990. In fact, a very humble beginning, and uh, now, very fortunately, the Manipur Polo International being adopted by the government of Manipur, which began regularly from the year 2010. In fact, it is a great pleasure having a team from the US regularly since 2013. I'm happy that we could have this way. And in fact, uh, it was a very, very exciting match that I myself was here as a young person in 1991 USA. I still remember a couple of players. Uh, must be we will try to find out who were the players uh, that came in 1991 to be our special guest next year. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I, I would love to meet them since I wasn't even born yet. But <laughs> 1991, that's a good one-up position. Hopefully next year we'll be in the winning position. I think, uh, if, I, if I rightly recollect, uh, Thomas Winter was uh, one of the very, very favorite uh, players in this very field. Uh, let me check out my diary as to how uh, the proceedings of the 1991 went on. It was also for the first time that uh, the tournament was recorded. In fact, uh, we also did the women's tournament and UK was uh, the runners-up in 1992. And we actually have a winner of the 2015 Manipur International Tournament, uh, Pedro Lara. He's one of the umpires out on the field right now. Pedro, if you could put your hand up here. Pedro Lara. Can you put your hand up here? Yeah, the winner of the 2015 Manipur Open. We are so grateful to the governor of Manipur, Dr. Nazma Hatula, to be amidst us to encourage the players. Everybody's getting ready, adjusting back and Tony. Very close game so far, with India B leading by two. Score six to four, going into the first quarter. Very close game, looking forward to seeing how the next seven minutes are going to play out. England doing a great job holding up this India B team. A very strong team, they have the home field advantage. Not only do they have the home field advantage, but they know the horses better than any of us. So playing, playing against them is by far one of the bigger challenges, challenges here in Manipur. Players from India B coming back out on the field, warming up the ponies a little bit. for a more beautiful day to play the game of polo. Sun is shining, there's a nice breeze. Everybody's looking good. good. Happy to have everyone here. The last and final checker. Ladies and gentlemen, four checkers, each checker of seven minutes, played in this video tournament. And in fact, in the higher handicaps uh, all over the world, there are six checkers I have, I think, uh, for the higher handicaps. Uh, yeah, yes, for most of the time, there's six checkers, uh, depending on the level of polo. Uh, when you step up to the highest level of polo in Argentina, it actually goes up to eight checkers. And uh, in over time, to, you know, draw the game out two and a half hours long. So, four checkers is uh, a harder, harder amount of time to play in because <coughs> If you do happen to get down by a few words, you don't have very much time to come back. So I have to say the English team is doing a very good job right now against India B. Uh, in fact, as I was saying, that we had the privilege of uh, watching the short documentary made by students from the University of East London the other day. And of course, uh, the very tournament trying to highlight the uh, 
the status of the Manipuri pony that we are so proud of, as the slogan says, save the Manipuri pony. In fact, uh, the very slogan that you see in front of us, Manipur gave the world the game of polo. The tragedy is that the decreasing number of ponies uh, is a serious debate in the very land that gave the world the game of polo. I'm sure the very tournament and the, all the tournaments, the events that the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association organizes uh, throughout the year from the month of uh, October to March before the rain comes in. Uh, we have uh, the Governor's Cup in Hazari, the Festival of Mountain Buddhism, and of course from the city uh, we are launching a Junior's Polo Club. Before this, we had a tournament that is called the N Hazari, and that will end on this thing, the polo tournament, in which about 31 polo teams took part, from which the selection of these uh, six players was met. It was a very, very competitive uh, match, from which we had to select uh, these uh, young uh, six players. As you see, that three of them were very much larger, and we had three more. All right, we're back in play. Be more with the ball. The beautiful ear set shot. Look at the 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 He's being shot by Perdue. Hey, 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 hey. And a beautiful ride out. George again with the ball. Hitting that field. It's rolling. It's rolling. Where'd it go? Oh, it's, it's just, just wide to the left. A beautiful play by England there. Using the teamwork. Nice passes. 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 Looking for Calvert, but that ball rolls out of bounds. bounds. We'll have it on the ground. <laughs> and the ball's back in the court. Beautiful. Beautiful. Looking for his number one, but Benny is there. Fadim comes in with a beautiful shot. Another slip, but Benny is there. Doesn't quite get it. Taking the score of the ball, he's talking to him, he's going to play after the ball. Tapping it. Is it still playing? It was just out of bounds. Didn't have a knock-in for England. Number four, Van Hulen. Doing a great job playing the back row here. Beautiful shot of field. Looking for George Moore. But Pretty Eve is going to be the first one to get to it. No room for mistakes here. Pradeep makes the nice next shot, looking for the out of bounds. Now another throw. And the ball is back in play. Beautiful. He hits it up to Calvert. Calvert. Looking to take this one all the way to goal, but Benny is there to oppose. A nice knock back shot out of danger. Picked up by George Shelton. No one there to defend. George Shelton takes it under the net. But Pradeep Singh is going to be the first one to it. Let's see what he does. Taking his time. He meets it. George Shelton steals the ball. Pradeep is out of the play now. George with a beautiful net shot. But it's just wide to the right. Next to the driver, Chris Bowen. And the ball back, back in play. play. Looking for Beamer. But, but Henry's, Henry's the first to pick up from session. Nice near side back shot to his brother. George is looking to take this under the neck. Can't quite reach it. Beam will come in. Taking the ball across the goal on the near side. Beam will a very confident player, a veteran of the sport. Look at those ponies run. The first one to get there is going to be Henry. Henry Moore. 
It deflects off the pony. Cowboy's gonna be the second one there. A nice pass looking up. And it's deflected again off the pony. Still in the danger zone, but Henry. Henry has rescued it. Kyoji. A swing and a miss. Everybody overrides, but Ben Ely doesn't. He picks that ball up with confidence. People are there. But George is there to take him out. A nice ride off. Henry Moore. Henry Moore. It's rolling. It's rolling. And it's a beautiful save out there, Ben. All right, it appears we have a foul on the play. Raphael is signaling for a spot hit. This could be a very good news for England. Okay, I apologize. It's a spot hit for Manipur, or India Beach, I say. A nice, nice shot, shot back, back into play, play, but it's looking to go out of bounds. Gonna have another ball in. The ball is back into play. Ball rolling through. through. The first, first one to get to is Cowboy. Cowboy, look, look at that little pony run. Piojic. Piojic coming through. In possession, the ball is bouncing, but he still has it. Cowboy taking it out. George Moore behind him. And the goal is good, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful goal there by P.O.G. Putting the score for India B at 7 and England 4. It's not too late, ladies and gentlemen. It's never too late. Picks it up, but George Shelton snakes it away from him with a beautiful neck shot out field. The first one's going to be there is Pradeep. Being, being challenged by Ben Ely. And that signals the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Get a big round of applause for both teams. Put played excellently the whole match. Very well done by both teams here. One of the best games of polo I've seen this whole tournament. It's been an honor to be here. Having both teams come up past the sidelines here. A big thank you to Rafael Seiko and Pedro Lara, Connor Dior for the umpiring. Get a big round of applause from India B. Well done, India B. Beautiful game. Please put your hands together for England as well. You guys played very well. Put your hands together. Here comes the victory lap. Let's hear that crowd go crazy. Beautifully done, gentlemen. Beautifully done. And now, last but not least, the English team coming all the way across the sea. Raffle, welcome to Manipur.
and uh, what was your uh, experience uh, in Manipur? A fantastic experience. Everybody did us very well. We had very good polo, very running polo, and, and lots of friends. Really, a, a great time here. And it was uh, a very, very, uh, in fact, uh, indeed, a great pleasure to have you in Manipur. I was looking forward to your arrival. I've been in touch with you for many, many months. I'm really happy, and I'm sure uh, you definitely will uh, would like to come back again. Of course, I will be try to come back again. I will try to tell people from Uruguay to come because here we are feel as at home, and that's very important for us. Uh, it is a new experience that you play on the small ponies in Manipur. It must be the big horses in uh, back home, but. What is your new experience playing at this very ground with the small ponies? It's very different. You feel something different. It's a new culture, but it's very, very amusing, very amusing. And I'm sure uh, your family is here and your two sons. Uh, how are your children and the rest of the team from Uruguay having a nice time in Manipur? Yes, they're very happy. They're very happy with the people, with the friends, with how we were treated, with the fantastic Manipur you have, tourism, blue sky. We feel we feel very happy, and I'm sure, Rafael, uh, you will carry a very very good memory, fond memory, and I'm sure that you will be definitely back to Imphal again. And thank you very much for coming to Manipur. Thanks for you for inviting, and we are sure we'll see you next year. Thank you, thank you. Gracias. Eh? Traditional that it was for the first time that England did make it in the final and you had a very crucial match uh, with the United States of America. I'm so happy that you are back in Manipur. Well, I think you must have definitely enjoyed your match in Manipur. George, how are you feeling? Um, well, we had a fantastic match. Um, to be honest, we just feel so grateful to be here in Manipur. Um, we were out there playing with our friends. Uh, the Manipuri boys are our friends now. Um, and so we couldn't be happier to be here. And we're immensely grateful to um, everyone in Manipur for this opportunity and for making us feel so welcome. Um, so thank you so much. Um, we were out there playing with our friends and it's the, uh, all we could wish for and more. So thank you. Uh, next year. <laughs> uh, England has been a very, very uh, friendly uh, small community, however it is in the, in the context of the world. But the very role that the England team has done for the Manipur uh, Polo International, it has been tremendous. I'm sure with your effort again, we would be able to have another England team next year, George. Um, we'd be delighted to come again. Um, as I say, uh, we're, we're very passionate about Manipur and the Manipuri Pony, um, and we uh, take our friendship very seriously. Um, so we really look forward to helping uh, you guys uh, make the tournament bigger and better and more successful, and uh, yeah, uh, bring prosperity to uh, Manipur, Imphal, and um, uh, the Manipuri Pony. Uh, I was so happy that uh, there are two brothers in the England team, uh, Henry and George. Uh, their parents were here, uh, Mr. Arthur and Mrs. Miranda. They, they had already planned their return to England yesterday. I'm sure they will be watching the uh, recordings of the live stream uh, back home. I'm sure that the girls are having a good time uh, uh, in Manipur. <coughs> uh, yeah, we've had a fantastic time. Um, uh, it's, we're so glad to have been able to bring along um, our friends and family to support. Um, they had a wonderful time. Um, I think it's a bit of a, a once in a lifetime experience for them, so they're immensely grateful. Um, and yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, we hope to be back next year. Um, it was a difficult match. Uh, funnily enough, we've played uh, India B Manipur before. Um, and this, it was the same score in that match, so we need to go away and get a bit better. But, you know, all credit to Manipur. They're lovely, lovely boys and they played fantastically. I think they deserve to win today. Yeah, so, uh, uh, George, George, a huge congratulations. Yeah, just uh, stay with me, George. Uh, with me is... Uh, <coughs> uh, with, me, with me is uh, Bimol again, uh, the champion of the 12th Manipur Polo International. With me is Bimol. Bimol, uh, Manipur Gi Handak again, Yam Nungarba match England Gafandas, Hanabzi Kandawe. Yam Nungai, Haidi Mapam, Mamanga, Sanaki Baga, Dum, Hawaii, Hantaki, England, Tasin Haidi, Moy, Yam Twin Sulaga, 
hadak mes moy finance chang buji akhoi na su moy sanga ninge seng na ri moy ki thamoi seng ba moy ni taw ko duga sana ba su yam nuai na sanai haita ah bimol you please uh, because we have a nationwide uh, television live being brought to uh, the homes uh, from the uh, dkim fall from this very historic ground bimol uh, how do you feel that uh, the the foreign players coming from other parts of the world enjoy our pony it's definitely is very good point because a lot the year of the year we have to organize here the international polo tournament uh, and may I want to uh, again to come every country in manipur and let us beat our manipur team okay so nice that you won a strong team to manipur and beat you i think uh, we had a very very good team from argentina and australia of course uh, we lost to uh, australia and usa some years back yeah. you would like to see a strong team again from the from other parts of the world yeah <laughs> yes yes uh, definitely uh, i will be uh, uh, i mean any uh, any country uh, that last year is coming from argentina argentina is in the world of the uh, uh, very well playing uh, country of the argentina but last year we have to defeat uh, defeat the argentina so actually next time also come any country we will be waiting here <laughs> to fight the any country that uh, well jose i'm sure that uh uh england now will know how the styles uh, the manipuri pony and little uh, strategy uh, the american teams are very good they bring uh, small height players i think uh, pedro was here kegan was here and very unfortunately i think they couldn't make it because they lost to uruguay in the very first uh, match mm. and they score dividing 1-1 against well and again uh, jose uh, how do you feel that uh, we should be working hard to save our ponies uh, in the very land that we are very proud of having given birth the game of polo and yet uh, we are faced with a dwindling number of ponies um <clears throat> well firstly you should be very proud um you have an amazing um community of people that make us feel so welcome and um, you are friends uh you have an incredible historic polo ground um completely unique in the whole of the world um and the manipuri pony itself um is very special um so it's a big challenge um but i think the tournament itself is a great way of raising awareness um and uh helping spread the word in the polo community across the globe and i'm sure that together we can help um uh improve the state of the manipuri pony and go from strength to strength thank you george uh, uh we will so definitely much, see you again thank you, you. so much Bimol, congratulations thank you thanks be more thanks man thank you thank you thank you well played Sigi Panagi Kangjedo Singasi Mapandagi Lakpa Sadar Ching Amadi Hoigi Lamasita Leger with San Ori Singa Pun mix Tongaraga Utsagadoriba exhibition Mayasni It is believed that the life and time of the people of Manipur, however small in population in area, the relationship between the horses and the people since time immemorial isn't that remarkable. Believed to be a peacetime war exercise, Sagol Kangje and other indigenous games were an integral part of the Manipur civilization. Today, you see this Pana Kangje, it is played seven aside. We were very lucky that some of the players in Silcha were noticed by British in the, in the early part of the last century that took our Sagol Kangje to different parts of the world and that is now the modern game of polo. Some of the players are here from the foreign countries. I can see Issa. Corner deal. Lambda Masigi Puariga Loinder of Sagol Kangje. It is believed that the creation of the mankind, the creation of the humankind, begins 
with a very pony. And in fact, the Manipuri civilization is the only civilization where the horses are worshipped. The entire history of Polo goes back to the Sagol Kangje. In fact, once the score, once the goal is scored, you change the side. Marzing having scored a goal every time a goal is scored. Yes, in fact, the only difference in the very game is that you can actually catch the ball. However, it is so risky that you have to drop the ball after being chased by people. It is believed that in olden times, when you once hold the ball, catch the ball, the entire body is considered as a ball and you have a right to hit the player. To score the ball, you have to drop the goal first. You have to drop the ball to score. And this is how, yes, it is a way of defending yourself because the opponent can hit you once you catch the ball. Oh, it is one of the most risky. Once you catch the ball, the entire body is considered as a ball. The opponent has a hit, right to hit the ball and to score. I hope the gentleman is all right. It is indeed a very, very risky game. Sagul Tanji, our forefathers who played this game, the martial race. And in fact, in the Sagul Kangje, irrespective of any injury or anyone having fallen from the horse, the game continues because this is just a replica of what exactly is a battle. In fact, it is believed to be the, to be the training ground for the young boys and girls, for the people of Manipur to defend the kingdom. It is one of the unique games. The game goes on. It was once believed that Lord Marzing. In the olden times, the competition used to be against the principalities as we known as the Pana. The Pana Kangji, the man in green, in fact, the entire length, the entire length of the ground is considered a goal post. The end of the game. There's one more chakra left. <laughs> the ball is thrown up in the sky to begin the mark of the match. You can actually catch the ball. However, to score, you have to drop the ball. The entire length, the entire breadth of the field is considered a goal post, after which you change the side. It is believed that the rules and regulations of the polo game all over the world is derived from the very style that we play the game of polo in Manipur. Nasigi Panasagol Kangjay Asihek Loibaga 
चथरी बतरा गन निथोई सुबह पोलो टूर्नामेंट की प्राइस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ले बिगनी मधुगी मतुंगा सिंज लांगजे दिवना यंजगी बा लोटरी टिकेट अममम लोबियो इट्स वेरी वेरी अट्रैक्टिव प्राइस The indigenous games of Manipur, Sagol Kangjai, Khong Kangjai, Mukna, the very resemblance of a martial race, endurance, the sports of sportsmanship, and in fact, the fighting spirit of young and boys of this very land is depicted by the games, the indigenous games that you see. believed to be the oldest living polo ground in the world, Mapal Kangjaibong, is now becoming a very, very important place for the people throughout the world where the game of polo is played. Polo playing nations, now over 90, looking forward to Manipur. We are indeed very grateful to Dr. Nazma Haptula, the Honorable Governor of Manipur, and the Honorable Speaker, Sri Y. Kem Chan, who is gracing the closing ceremony of the 12th Manipur Polo International as a chief guest, and the President of the function. We are also happy to have P. Sharad Chandra, the Honorable MLA, who is amidst us as the guest of honor and indeed people from different parts of the world conversing at this historic ground to watch the final match the grand finale that was played between England and India B Manipur right now the Pana Sagol Kangji having just concluded the ritual the team Thank you. <laughs> the highlight of the closing ceremony will begin in a moment. We are so grateful to the people of Manipur for being patient, witnessing the closing ceremony of the 12th Manipur Polo International 2018. Teams from England, Uruguay, the United States of America, India A and B having participated in this very tournament. Team Haiti could not make it because of the delay in their visa. Chathariba. Taragani Toysuba, Manipur Polo International 2018, Midyang Taba Lakpiriba, Amade, Sandra Singbu, Pungning Togutpa Lakpiriba, Kwai Punamakpu, Nasigi, Closing Ceremony Asi, Tawa Yaugna, Yang Binaba, Ningxing Jerry, Isa, raise your hand. Thank you for being with us. Isa from England, and Connor Deal from the United States of America. The prize distribution ceremony will begin in a short while. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to an end of the enjoyable 12th Manipur Polo International 2018, organized by the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, 
our tournament has been honored by the presence of teams from the United States, England, Uruguay, and IPA from India, and Amanipuri team. We have a beautiful and wonderful tournament. We are about to close the tournament. The prize distributions will be there. Polo will go on. The pony will live. Long live Tuyasmati Polo International 2018. Ngasi Tarani Thuy Suba, Manipur Polo International 2018. Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association na Singja Langjari ba Asi Gumba Tournament Asi Roshan Jagadore Handaki Tournament Asi da England da gi America da gi South America da gi Uruguay Aduga Indian Polo Association gi India A Amasung Manipur gi India B Hai di ba Team mga asi na Ning Tiraba, Amasung Polo Kusanagi, Angakpa, Skill Sing, Punabak, and the Kitona Menesida, Wofangre, Soidana, Matangi Trahum, do Subumatam the D, Amukehena, Ikoigi Sagon, Kangeru, Singna, Malem Git Hakta, Sanabugi Mong, Utkani Hibisi, Akoigi Tazabani. Manipur Polo International is a queen of Togere Hairega Manipur Gi Lady Ba Tazabiro Yuzik Sanaroi Angang Chahitarani Toy Hom Dudagi Hoguna Chahinu Puva Boy or Abama de Gimata Pau de Leiba Sagol Kangjay Sanaroi Chani Gimatakta Lejerabani En Hazari Memorial Polo Tournament Team Kuntrang Nitoi Toy Bani Asumna Tiel Bamatam Chahikun Kumanga Asida Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association Na Sitaduna Lairuraba Adukumba Manipur Gisagur Kangjay Asibu Tapna Tapna Pukatsaratuna Nasidi Trani Toy Suba Manipur Polo International Da Malem Git Hak Mak Yogdrugasu Malem Git Sanari Bat Tournament Sing Da Goal Nippon goal Taraga Hibisi high goal quality amna Lairaba Adumotona Mehede Longabagum Madugi Thak Tangasi Akogi Sana Rui Singna Malemgi Atopa Lebak Tegilak Liba Hairaba player Singa Sana Minduna Makoi the Sana Minere Hairega Karamna Quina Noma Manipur the Gila Herga Baratadi Sanazure Pritibiki Thak the Karmani Yoroka de Gahibado Madugi same Sabani, Masigumba tournament as it of Luna Luna Na, Ho Lakadur Vichahi Kayasida, Manipur Gimite Sagol, Manipuri Sagolasi, Sagol Kangjegi, Asing Basagola Duni, Hoji, Chatret, Masing Father Bani, Tournament Sit of Zabadegi, Naharul Singna, Aikoigi, Naha Singna. Polo Sanaba Horak Padigi, Sagol Pamakpa, Sagol Laitaba Yaraktaba, Mayumda, Sagol Yok Jabagi, Nat Amaquina Sagatzeri, Yumda Sagol Yok Dragadi, Ayakna Polo Club, the Yaori Herga, Sagol Galuni Dragadi, Manipuri Sagol, Original Polo Pony Esi, Mahaki, Mafam Laita Duna, Lambi Lam Hangda, Highway Singda, Si Kibana Maramoridana. Masing Tarak Libani Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association in the Kanje Amasuninje, Laibaki the Makta Sagol Kanje is Sanaro Esi Aikoi Naha Singda Sanabu Yamna Pamjaba Manipuri Naha Singda Sagol Kanje Sananing Bugi Itil Dupiri Harega Sagol Bu My Rom the Lera Panat Kumna Aigi Saga Konat Konajaba Sagun Jaba Adu Gumbasani Hibigi Nat Adu Amuk Hanna Naha Singna Club Singling Katuna Polo Sanaba Sagul Kangi Sanaba Si Nasi Infalam Singing Falgi Akoi with Ayam and Lady Vasi Hausik Pawitek Tekchum Asinachim Karad the Natana 
Kungang sing the Musalapasi, a sober Sagol Massing and the Rapuki Maram Abani Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, Luna Luna and Manipur Sarkarna Kungangi Takta Kumbida, Moiranga, Bisenpur, the Tobalda, Karamna, Naha Singda, a Koyi Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, Gi breeding farm the Gi, a Kuna Putokja River Sagol Singasi, Kungang Singda. Club Singda, Taida Zare Herega, Karmai Togna Toga de Gahibudu, Manipur Polo, Horse Riding and Polo Association Gi, Pandamni.
and I wish all the teams, Team England, Team USA, Team Uruguay, Team India, Team India AB, to be present at the prize distribution ceremony. On behalf of the organizing committee of the 12th Manipur Polo International 2018, may I call on Dr. Nazma Hatullah, the Honorable Governor of Manipur, to kindly address the gathering.
in highlighting this issue and lead to a more concerted effort to save the animals. It is very encouraging that the state governments of the Manipur has taken the initiative to establish a pony sanctuary at Hangam in Palgir district and a pony breeding farm at Lumpel in Pal West district. I hope this endeavor of the state government will pay rich dividends for saving the Manipur pony. This tournament organized by the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association as a part of the Shanghai Festival 2018 has obviously been a major attraction in the festival. The Shanghai Festival as such is a college of the rich culture and tradition of people of the state showcasing our diverse cultural heritage through different forms. The Polo Tournament has added a different flavor to the festival and it has been made grander by the participation of the foreign teams and players. This year, foreign teams from US, England, Uruguay have participated in the tournament. And I'm sure that the pre presence of these foreign teams and players will give a fresh impetus to popularity of the game. I am putting all my efforts to popularize polo and I have hope that one day polo will be played like IPL of the cricket and become not only self-financing, but generate enough funds to support the breeding of this and saving the Manipur polo ponies and the game itself. I hope the participants in the tournament, especially our friends from other countries, have enjoyed fully the healy blend of the game and the culture in the state. I believe that the participating team had a comfortable stay this year and will go back with pleasant memories of playing polo at its first place. I would like to compliment the organizers for successfully organizing this event and my good wishes to all of them. I will take this opportunity also to congratulate the winners and the runners of the tournament for a game very well played. I once again thank the organizers for inviting me to this function. Best wishes, Kambachari. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. On behalf of the organizing committee, I would like to call on Sri Y. Kem Chan Singh, the honorable speaker, to kindly give the presidential speech. Honorable Madam, Governor Manipur. Dr. Nazma Hafulaji, Honorable MLA CP Sarchandra Singh Ji, and President Secretary of the Organizing Committee, and all the officials in the dais, international players. National players is where it is known. I am glad that I have been invited by the organizing committee to recite this closing ceremony of the 12th edition of Manipur Polo International Tournament 2018. It's happy to see many international foreign players.
coming to Malaybo for this particular tournament. And this polo tournament is, is not only tournament in Manipur, who had maximum number of foreign players participate in, in our state. There's work heard to promote polo games. And also, at the same time, what is the most important for organizing such international polo tournament is to set the and protect pony species. Pony animals are decreasing number due to lack of proper care and proper feeding space. So all policy makers and administrators have to a strong will to protect the safe to save pony all over the world. That is annual money polo international programming give a stronger message to pro for protection of pony in Manipur and other part of the global. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. As a tradition of the tournament, we organize prizes for the best pony. And I would like to call on S. Premi Devi to kindly give the prize for the third best pony. Sanabi Black Manipur Police Sports Club. Thank you, ma'am. I would like to call on Srimati and Jayavala, Mr. Speaker, to kindly give the prize for the second and the first best pony. Second, Loya Mange, IRC. Loya Mange, IRC. First, Hangong Aramba X Polo Club. Six years. The best choice, the best pony chosen by the special committee. Hangong Aramba. Six years, male X Polo Club. Thank you, ma'am. I would like to call upon Sri P. Shalachandra, an honorable MLA, to kindly present the certificate to India Team A. The India Team A kindly take the certificate from the honorable MLA, P. Shalachandra. to request Sri H. Dilip Singh, the honorary president of the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, to kindly give away the participating certificates to Tim Uruguay. Next, uh, Tim USA. <laughs> Tim USA. <laughs> 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 
May I call on the Team USA to kindly collect the certificates? Corner Lara, Keegan, Chad, well done. May I call on Mr. Edward Armstrong? There is a special prize from the USPA. Mr. Edward Armstrong will open the envelope for the most valuable player of the tournament. It is on behalf of the USPA. Mr. Edward will open the envelope. No, no, uh, kindly open the envelope. He will announce the player. On behalf of the United States Polo Association, I'd like to make a small award to the most valuable player of this tournament, Mr. George Shelton from England. A team, a special committee team comprising our technical committee, the judges, and the people's vote. It was a prize given by the USBA on behalf of the USBA by Mr. Edward Armstrong, George Shelton. Mr. Armstrong, please stay on. Our president would like to honor you by giving a certificate for bringing the USBA team, Mr. Edward Armstrong. I would like to call on Sri Y. Kem Tan Singh, the Honorable Speaker, to kindly give up the trophy for the runners of Team England. George Henry, George Amor, Ben. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, sir. I would like to call on Dr. Dasma Hapsula, the governor of Manipur, the champion of the 12th Manipur Polo International, India B. Manipur.
team coach? Can I have a team coach? There will be a photo session especially for all the teams when the dictators are seated. I would like to request the team England for the photo session after this. Team England, I would like to request the team England for the photo session after this. Busy in the stable, I am the manager. So, Don't worry, I'll give you a copy of the picture. Team USA. I'd like to request the Team USA for the Just a moment, please. Tim USA. Just a moment, Mark. Thank you. Next, Team USA. Got it? Thank you. Team USA, please. I would like Mr. Edward Armstrong to join the team. Edward. Mr. Edward. Team Uruguay. 
Thank you. Timurupi. Tim India A, please. Thank you. Tim India. This will be followed by the flake loading ceremony. The flag lowering ceremony of the 12th Manipur Polo International. Nasigi Firala Se Ching Febira Pogalinana Lengsin Bidi Bai Chin Nau Sengna Mekup Amutang Lepina Bani Ching Jari Talagani Toy Suba Manipur Polo International Gay Firan Ching Thabagalinana Nasigi Lengbira Gliba Pai Ponamakna Mekup Ama Lepina Bani Ching Jari Ching Jari Bani Ching I request the Honorable Governor to kindly close the tournament. I declare the 12th Manipur Polo International 2018 closed. The flag of the tournament will be brought to the Honorable Governor. It will be handed over to the President for the conduct of the 12th Manipur Polo International 2019. The flag will be under the custody of the President of the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association. The tournament, the 12th Manipur Polo International 2019, which will be held on November 29, 22 to 29, 2019. The flake will be handed over to the Honorable Governor. That will be handed over to the President of the Association for the safe custody till the next Manipur Polo International that will be held next November.
the flag of the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association under the banner that organized the 12th Manipur Polo International being handed over to the Chief Guest, the Honorable Governor, who will hand over to the President, Sri H. Dilip Singh, for the safe custody till the 13th. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly be seated for the vote of thanks to be proposed by C.H. Priyaranjan. I request Professor C.H. Priyaranjan to kindly propose the vote of thanks of the 12th Manipur Polo International. <coughs> Honorable Governor of Manipur, dignitaries and respected lovers of polo and pony. We are today coming, now coming to the end of a wonderful tournament. This tournament has been successful because of the unstinted support that we have been given by all sections of society. This tournament is part of the Sangai Festival and it is the Manipur government which has mainly supported us to conduct this international tournament. I, on behalf of the Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, show gratitude to the government of Manipur, the chief minister, his cabinet colleagues, and today the honorable speaker himself have been to this tournament every day. That gives us the courage and the conviction that we must conduct this Manipur Polo International every year. Ladies and gentlemen, besides the huge financial support that the Manipur government gives, many public sector organizations have also come forward, as you can actually see around the gallery. The Manipur Planning Department, Northeastern Council, Oil India Limited, Oil and Natural Gas Corporation, State Bank of India, Coal India Limited, Indian Oil Corporation, National Hydro Power Corporation, Power Grid Corporation of India, United Bank of India, Life Insurance Corporation of India, Tea Board of India, the Classic Group of Hotels. These are the corporate, national and multinational who have given huge financial support because of which we are able to run this highly costly international tournament. Besides the financial support, all departments of Manipur government have been fully with us to have this wonderful tournament. The Imphal Municipal Corporation, Manipur Fire Service, Manipur Police Department, Department of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry, Health and Family Welfare Department, Indian Red Cross Society, Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Science, Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, Civil Hospitals and Research Institute, Raj Mary City, Remedy Hospitals. These are institutions which the people of Manipur know. They have been fully behind us. Thank you. We also have had the media behind us. DDK Infor, ISTV, Impact TV, AIR, and all print media have been every day here and have been publicizing our international tournament within Manipur, all over India, and all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let us remember that real things happen when real people come out and support us. I mean the team, the civil boys, and our volunteers. They have, been, they have made us, enabled us to conduct this wonderful tournament, Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association. Thank all those people who have been behind the scenes to make this event wonderful and memorable. Ladies and gentlemen, last of all, the foreign team, look at the way they are supporting Manipur Polo and Manipur Pony. They have come here on their own expenses. They have come here canceling many of their international commitments. That is what we in Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association have been able to achieve for the cause of Polo, for the cause of Manipur Equality. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association wishes you a happy outcome of Manipur Polo and Pony. Thank you all once again until we meet again for the 13th Manipur Polo International. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, sir.